Hello, welcome back to spiritmusicmeetups.org. Mike Burris here, helping you learn about a really neat rudiment, a fundamental rudiment, a small little building block used by a lot of larger rudiments. I call it waltzing with flam accents. You know, the waltz is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a lot of waltzes. These are a few of my favorite things is the waltz. And so we count one, two, three, one, two, three. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you get some revelation here. I spent a day or two days in my drum room just asking God and listening and seeing what comes into my mind as I'm playing. Sometimes I'm just waiting and playing while I'm waiting. And I put that down into my little notepad and throw it up here for you guys. And so you can take it one step further. Go further. Glean from what I'm giving you, but then go further. So this is 22 minutes playing with God. 22 PWG. We're playing with God. We're playing like little children, going out and playing with our friends. So the flam accent it's kind of a strange how they come up with these names. Uh, it's a flam, little left hand, big right hand, a left. So this is actually a flam, inverted flam tap, tapping on the opposite side. So that's called an inverted flam tap. And then they're adding another stroke. Then they go over to the left side and they do that. So you can count it one, two, three. You can count it with eighth note triplets, one e a, two e a, three e a, four e a, or sixteenth note triplets, one e e and, that would be the eighth note and, a uh, a, uh, so now you got six, a sextuplet, six, instead of a triplet, you have a sextuplet. You can count it triplet, triplet, or one da da, and da da, or one da da, two da da. So 16 note triplets, 8th note triplets, however you want to count it. You don't even have to count it like a triplet. You could put a space in here, 1, E, and, A. Uh. So the space would be right here, after here, there would be a space. All right. Or you can put the space right in here, 1, E, and, A. Uh. So gal upping. Or you could put the space in here. This would be trotting horse, galloping. One E and is the space right in here or in here. Uh, one E, a uh, two E. Dun, 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 It's a really, I love him. I love him. Song, oldie but goodie. So let's talk about these stroke types. This is a downstroke, so you've got to come down and you've got to stay down. So they call it control stroke, or controlling the bounce. Don't let it bounce, come straight down. This is a little tap, so it's just like this, right? So you're just playing. So it's, it's right down there and it's kind of slanted down. So this is slanted down if you play it on the other side. That's a flam, and then you got to come up. After you tap that little left, you tap it again. You got to go up in order to be prepared. Always be prepared. The Boy Scout motto. I love Boy Scouts. So you go up so that you're ready to come down on this downstroke. Same thing over here. This right hand goes up in order to finally come down. So then finally, this little right hand is a tap. That's why you stay down, because the next time it plays, it's prepared to play a quiet stroke. So it's down, stay down, in order to tap. So if you took the grace note off, you would have a trip, up, let, trip, up, let. Trip, I call up, tells you where to go up. Instead of trip, up, let, trip, up, let. So really... We're going to come over here as a check pattern. The check pattern checks the motions of your hands. You have a triplet. Trip, up, let, trip, up, let. Tr 
trip up left. Trip up left. See, now it's ready to come down again. Trip up left. Trip up left. Trip up left. Trip up left. So make sure you can do triplets. I'm going to hit on the rims so you can really hear the... And then you got to put that flam in there. Now the flam up, tap, flam up, tap, flam up, tap, flam up, tap, flam up on the opposite, tap. The tap buys you time. Flam up on the opposite, tap. Flam up on the opposite. So you could practice just going flam up, flam up, flam up, flam up, flam up on the opposite. So those are alternating because I'm going back and forth. Those by themselves are called inverted flam taps. If you tapped on the same side, it'd be a flam tap, but it's opposite, so they call it inverted flam, inverted tap. Okay, and then flam inverted tap. So make sure you can do a piece, right? How do you eat an elephant? One piece at a time. You know, it's hard by the yard, but it's cinch by the inch. So we're doing just one inch at a time. We're going to talk about that over here. How you can build it progressively by pieces or partials. I call it progressive partial. Cinch by the inch. Hard by the yard. So I think you can count it different ways. So like we said, you can play this as trotting horse. Trotting horse. Trotting horse. You could repeat one side. You don't have to alternate. Trotting horse. You just have to bring this hand up. To come down so it changes the stroke types be careful these stroke types are for alternating they change if you repeat you got to bring the last one up one e and a, two e and a, three e and up four e and up one e and up trotting horse trotting horse trotting horse trotting horse trotting horse make sure you can do the other side trotting trotting horse Trotting horse, trotting horse, trotting horse, trotting horse, trotting horse, trotting, right? Make sure you can do it each side by itself and also alternate. Wow, there's so much in drumming. There is not a dull moment exploring the universe of rhythms. Let's talk about some other checks. Here, we're going to leave the middle of the triplet out or the middle of the trotting horse, whatever. These are really strange, by the way. Uh, gap, this is puts a big gap in there. Gal upping, gal upping, upping, gal upping. One and a two and a dun da da dun da da dun da da dun da 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 dun da da da. It's bonanza. And rawhide and so many other country songs. Let's talk about leaving the middle of the triplet out, middle of the trotting horse, and now you get what's called a shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. It's that whole dragging the leg. Shuffle, and then you bring the other foot up really close. Shuffle, shuffle. So you're dragging. Or shuffling so that becomes this, the check pattern for this and then so you fill in the missing so you go shuffle shuffle basically it's double strokes shuffle so you're going one e a uh, two e see that whole a uh, three e a uh, four e a uh, one e a three e a four e a one e a two one e a two e a three e a four e a one e a two e a three e a four e a one a two a three a four a. What I did.
did was add the flam to the shuffle. And so really, this is a double stroke that's shuffled because there's a hole. This is a flam tap. I said these were inverted flam taps. This is another rudiment. There's a video for that called flam tap, flam tap. But it's shuffled. So some people call it flam accent number one. And they call this flam accent number two. <laughs> Just because they left this out. So here's your doubles shuffled. One, a two, a three, a four, a now add a flam and you get flam taps or flam accent number two. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. Make sure everything is beautiful and strong at slow speed. One, a two, a three. See how I get up right oh? A four. Then, once you've got that going, the, sh the flam tap, flam accent number two, shuffled, right? Then just add the missing piece. One, a two, a three, a four, a one e, a two e, a four e, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one e, a two e, a three e, a four e, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. I'm not going to go super fast because it's blurry enough as it is, my friends. These videos don't capture motion very well. See how my hand is blurred? So that's the check patterns that I would use. Let's talk about isolation. Isolation means just playing one hand. So here is just the right hand and that little right hand. So right, right, and little right, and a right. I'm going to put the counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 under it instead of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So like 6, 8 times. Here's the little left hand that's missing. See that? And that left hand right there in the 2 spot. The left hand, the big left hand in the 4 slot. And another little left hand in 6. So you could play just the right hand. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm counting to get my brain working first, right? One, two, three, right? On the three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you can do that with the left hand. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice I stay down. Stay down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I stayed down. So that's what I'm saying. Notice. There's a triple here, three right hands in a row. And here, there's a triple from here, one, two, three, three lefts in a row. So I just said going over to the next one, right? There's a triple. So we'll talk about adding in the other hand. So really, you got to learn how to go one, two, three, right? There's a triple, one, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Make sure you can use your fingers to move the stick three times. So practice your triple. What do I mean by add in the other hand? You can play this pattern and add the other hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's all I did was add in the other hand. 
you can play the left hand, add and in the right hand. So the left hand pattern is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six, one, two, four, six, one, two, four, six, one, two, four, six, one, two, four. Notice the two has to go up. Right here, this two has to go up to get down here, right? See that? Just like this has to go up to come down here. So make sure you get your ups. So when we do the right hand, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. See the five goes up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Goes up. Make sure you do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what that's about. And you could bring in the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One. So you get used to this pattern. Bring in the other hand. So let's talk about, you know, I said hold this down and don't let it bounce at all. When you get going faster, let me just show you that this is held down, but you can let it bounce up a little bit. So I said keep it loose so it bounces up a little bit. And then you get another bounce by using your fingers. And then on the last one, we need to pull up, right? We told, talked about moving this last one up so they can come down. So we need to pull that up into the palm and lift the stick. So let's look at that. One. So see how it bounced up a little bit? Instead of holding it down here, I, I just let it bounce. I let it bounce. See, I'm loose. So my fingers are loose, not up against the palm, but loose. So it's going to bounce a little. Get another tap. And then, so tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. See, it wants, it wants to bounce a lot of times. Bounce, bounce, up. So see how I pulled it into my hands? I pulled it into my hands, and I lift it up. So you come down on this stroke and let it bounce. See, it kind of goes up a little bit. And then use your fingers to get that ta-da-ta. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, 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 see it bounces up. Three, four, five. And you lift up at the end. You know, same thing on the left hand. Two, you know, one, two, three, four, five. One, but you're going to get, you're going to get four. Four, five, six, one, two. Four, five, right? Four, five, six. Four, five, six, one, two. Four, five, six, one, two. Four, five, six, one, two. So this is the one that's coming down, bouncing a little bit. Four, five, six, one, two. 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 Okay, so it's kind of strange. But I want you to see that this very much sounds like if you left the last of the triple off, it'd be two or three, two or three. If you lift up on the three, you'd have two or three, four or five, 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 or two or three, four or one, two or three, four or one, two or three. And we just
just let it bounce one more time. Instead of two or three, we're going to go two or three E, two or three E, four or one E, two or three E, four or one E. Now I'm using that eighth note triplet counting. Two or three E, four or one E, two or three E, four or one E. Now two or three, two or three, four or one, two or three, four or one. That's jazz. Ding, 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 See how it bounces? And I'm pulling my fingers up on three, but let it bounce one more time. Two, a three, E. Four, a one, E. Two, a three, E. Four, a one, E. Two, a three, E. Four, a one, E. Because it's like a different kind of like jazz beat. So you gotta be able to use your fingers. That's that one hand waving. Remember waving your pinky, different fingers, and learning how to wave the stick. Remember waving the stick. So really, if you can do the jazz swing beat, you can do this modified da 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 Da, 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 da. I think that's really cool. So let's talk about progressively building. You know, we're going to have to do a second video because we're already at 21 minutes. Um, that we'll go over the inverted building. We're going to build this by going one stroke at a time. Here's the flam, adding the tap, the inverted flam tap, then adding one more stroke. Then we'll go and add this little grace note. Then we'll come in and do add this to create this whole flam. Then we'll add this next stroke. And finally, the last stroke. And you, and, and you do the other side the same way. Whatever you do on one side, you learn how to do that on the other side. Hey, we can get it all in here. So you're just, you're just going flam tap, flam tap. Make sure you can do inverted flam taps. Okay. Make sure you can do it. There's a whole video on that, right? Look under the flam tap video. I call it flamma. Flamma, like para diddle, flamma diddle, flamma. Then add the next, the right hand, flamma da. Make sure you can do one side. So ta ta ta, left right left, left right left. Make sure you do that. You can always alternate, right left right, left right left. Well, now you're we're up here, right? That's what that is. So now we can add this little right. Now we have right, left, right, right, left, right, 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 left, right, right. What is that? Para diddle. It's a flam pair diddle. Flam a diddle. Flam pair, you know, flare a diddle. Para diddle. Para diddle. Para diddle. The other side. Para diddle. 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 So these are flammed paradiddles. I should write that in. Flammed paradiddles. Right? Right in here. Flammed paradiddles. Take a picture of this. I'm going to put it all down in the description for you. What if we add the left hand? This left hand. Now, pair, uh, it's a pot of fla fla. Fla fla, pada, pada, fla fla. So it's pair. Uh, it's a, it's single strokes. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. But it's flammed. That's just repeating it over.
there's a whole nother video on this. So this is a para fla fla. Para fla fla. Para fla fla. Para fla fla. So then you'd add this little right. Para da da da. Right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left. There's the slam. Right, left, right, left, right. Make sure you can do the other side. Left, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left. So make sure you can always do the opposite side. So hey, we we did them all, and then when you add the last one, bam, you got it all. What do I mean by one, two, and three sounds? Four sounds. Well, you can play just like we did. Two sounds. You'll hear a pattern. You'll hear the right hand pattern. It's like playing on a ride cymbal on a, or a hi-hat. Three sounds. What does that mean? Well, why don't we make the accent up here on a tom-tom? That's still just two sounds, so let's play over here. Come back here. Or, you know, we can come, you know, you can put this right accent anywhere you want. That's three sounds. What about four sounds? Well, we could still do three sounds. We could go, we're going to put the left hand accents over here. That's just two sounds, right? No, that's three sounds. Putting the accents on two different sounds. I call this in to out motion. Out, out, out to in. So I'm going out to the in, out to the in. I could play on a right symbol two sounds. And I could move the third. Might be going out to the hi hat or a high tom or something like that. That's three sounds. Four sounds. Wow. I could make the right hand accents up here, left hand accents up here, and the third. That's just three sounds, right? Now we'll play on the right symbol. That's two sounds. There's your four sounds. Woo! So you got two toms going, maybe middle tom, high tom and a ride cymbal and your snare drum. That's four sounds. So you can get pretty crazy with these things. Wow, part two of this video, we're gonna do is more progressive isolation. There's a really neat way to do this progressive thing when it comes to isolation. And then we'll go over, you know, how this is part of larger rudiments. Well, we saw how it's part of a it's part of a pot of fla fla, right? Boom. But we can maybe come up with some other relationships to other rudiments. So if you learn this really well, then you can use it in other rudiments. So it becomes a building block. That's what rudiment means for other rudiments. Or 
maybe just what you're doing in your playing. So I like this word. Um, yeah, these were low triples. I like this word progressive. All right. And it's, I have progressive insurance. I like my progressive insurance. It's cheaper than other insurances. But I like the word progressive. It was given to me and I was practicing in my bed uh, in the morning early on a practice pad. And, and God said, you know, I want you to be progressive. Don't be random, but be progressive. Notice I'm just adding one thing at a time. I'm moving from left to right. I'm being very methodical. And a lot of things like are like that in nature. They're not just jumping around helter-skelter. There's intelligent design. Really, if you look at things, it's like machines. And they're put together inch by inch into pieces. Since by the inch creates a yard. You know, that's a lot of inches in a yard. Yard is really hard to maybe grasp. You know, really long rudiments. Shirley Murphy or something. But every little piece adds up to create that giant rudiment and you can learn each piece you can you maybe cannot comprehend eating an elephant but if you just work at one little piece at a time eventually you're going to end up eating that big elephant do you see how a lot of things in life um they they really are daunting when you first look at them oh wow where do i even start well, you start at the beginning. You, you take that little rudiment called the flam, and you perfect that flam, keeping the grace note down, bringing the right hand up. Learn how to do that really well. Come up with some fun exercises to keep yourself really mentally active. And then work on the other side. And learn how to do that at different speeds. Using different te techniques. I'm using my fingers. But I might just use my wrist. That's my wrist. To make my wrist stronger. And then add one little more piece to it. There's the inverted flam tap. And get really good at that. Build your confidence. Okay? So I just did inverted flam taps over and over and over. And then I add one more little piece. Put a space so I have time to lift this up. So add some varieties of the spice of life. Right? Have fun. Stay in joy. Keep the joy in the journey. And then just keep adding to it. So that's this is very progressive. I don't like what politics uses progressive. Um, what they're calling progressive is not the definition of progressive at all. Just like, you know, they say one thing and do another. They say something, a, a political bill or a law is something, but it turns out when you read the actual, the bill itself, it's almost the opposite. It's, it's a deception. It's a lie to get people to buy into something that it's not. It's the fine print. You know, the devil is in the fine print, in the details. In many cases, these lawyers, these people who are writing these, these laws up and bills, they want to deceive the public to get it passed and then do the damage. A lot of the, this is all about deception in order to get a kickback. Money in somebody's pocket, their pocket, or the people who got them into office's pocket. So it's all political favor stuff. 
Anyway, don't fall for it. Read the details. But God is in the details. God is in the details. Look at a flower. Look at an insect. Look at all the details that go into music. So don't be afraid of details. Relish them. Pay attention. <laughs> Keep your eyes open on the details. Observe the details. Don't just forget where, what this is doing. Stay down there. So it's got to stay down there. And this has got to get right back up there. There's details that you got to watch, be observant of, be alert. Then you'll get motion memory. And then it'll be easy to add the next little piece, the next little inch. Now you got two inches and then three inches. Before you know it, you'll have 12 inches. And you'll get to that yard, three feet, 36 inches. Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed this. Went long. Part two is not going to be as long, I don't think. So thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for having patience. This has been kind of a tough day for me. So concentration level is a little off. So enjoy. Stay in the joy. And check out the website, spiritmusicmeetups.org. It's really about anointed, prophetic, spontaneous music. Having the language of music inside you. And so God can use that vocabulary. And he uses it to say many, many beautiful things, just like painting sunsets, many colors in a sunset. So don't just try to paint a sunset with one color. It can be a little boring. Same thing with drawing and same thing with music. That's why we're learning all this. Okay, let it come to you. Stay with it, let it come to you. All right, thank you for your patience. God bless you. Hang in there. Bye-bye.